What up everyone, Reege here for Animal Wire, and if you're a fan of the deep sea, then you gots to love the deep sea anglers, also known as sea devils or devilfish. Cause really, are there any other creatures out there that come off more murderous or demonic than these guys? Nah. And there's no confusion when it comes to them, as they've pretty much all but lost the front spine of their dorsal fin, which is now situated at the tip of their snout with a glowing bulb on the end allowing them to sit patiently and lure and prey. Now the mechanism behind this illuminated apparatus is pretty ridiculous, cause inside lives a community of bioluminescent bacteria that generates the initial light source which is then harnessed through a complex array of materials that reflect, guide, and modify it to suit the devil's needs. Ah, symbiosis at its finest. But a much more adorable relationship exists between the sexes, and this has a lot to do with the anatomical proportions of the male. He's tiny in comparison to the female, sometimes weighing a half million times less. And on that evolutionary road to dwarfhood, every aspect of his body underwent extreme changes, including the loss of the lure, an enlargement of the eyes and nostrils, and the development of special clamping teeth, all of which helped the little guy seek out a mate and cling to her for dear life. Cause the bond is literally for life as the male and female fuse together, effectively creating one super hermaphroditic sea devil capable of impregnating itself. And that's a force to be reckoned with. Now the best part is these little balls of terror come in like a million different flavors for you to choose from. And with over 160 recognized species, it makes them the most diverse group of vertebrates found in the deep sea by a long shot. But still, everything we know kind of just comes from studying specimens in the lab rather than getting to observe them in their natural environment. So you can imagine how limiting this can be. For example, until the whip nose was filmed for the first time, nobody guessed that rather than dangling its lure in the open water column, it actually swam upside down and dragged it along the sea floor. It's discoveries like this that are few and far between. So in that regard, I guess we're more in the dark than our sea devil friends here. So to wrap this all up, I gotta thank Camilo Quintero for really coming through here. And with that being said, yo dude, sweet creature.